In this video, we'll be building three simple hydroponic systems using the Kratky method. Before we begin, let's define some terms. Hydroponics is the soilless practice of growing plants in water containing nutrients. The nutrients are the plant food needed for them to grow and survive. The three big nutrients are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. This will be referred to as NPK because we use N for nitrogen, P for phosphorus, and K for potassium as seen on this periodic table of chemical elements. Nutrients will be discussed in detail in the next video. The Kratky method is named after Dr. Bernard Kratky from the University of Hawaii. He has been given credit for popularizing passive hydroponic techniques and teaching others how to be more food independent. He continues to create content and share his research. The Kratky method is a passive system that only requires a container to hold the nutrient solution and a way to hold the plants so they can have their roots suspended in the water. Pumps and aerators are not required for this system. This is a passive system because it is kept as simple as possible. There are no mechanical or electric devices that can break, and this has the added benefit of keeping costs down. Here are the three systems that we'll be building today. The first is the 16 ounce mason jar. These are readily available glass jars that are used for preserving food. They will last forever and they are easy to clean. Here we are using the wide mouth version because they easily hold a three inch net cup used to hold our plants. This is basil that I planted a couple weeks ago. You can see the roots are doing very well. I use these opaque bags to restrict light from hitting the nutrient solution. If too much light hits your nutrient solution, you will get algae growth, which is not good in hydroponics. The next is a DIY upscale system. Here I have collected several coffee containers and have converted them into passive Kratky systems. I painted them to reduce the amount of light that gets through the plastic and to make them more visually appealing. I suppose you can use other colors, but I only had gray when I was making this video. For the lid, I am using a 3-inch hole cutter to fit a 3-inch net cup. This is what it looks like growing basil. Please note, since this was upscaled from a discarded food container, these have Recycle Code 2, which means it's made from high-density polyethylene, or HDPE. You want to verify that your containers do not contain BPA. BPA stands for bisphenol A, which is used in some plastics and has been linked to health problems. Do not use plastic if it has a recycle code of 7. The last passive system is a heavy-duty tote system. Note that this uses opaque plastic that won't allow light to hit the nutrients and reduces algae bloom. These containers are made from polypropylene and are BPA-free. To make these, I mark the lid where I want to cut the holes and use my 3-inch hole cutter to allow for the placement of 3-inch net cups. Remember, water is heavy. One gallon of water weighs 8.34 pounds. A five gallon bucket filled with water will weigh almost 42 pounds. If you are using larger containers, try to plan on leaving them in place and not moving them around too much. They're heavy. In the next video, we'll be looking at creating nutrient solutions. That's it for this video. See ya.